morning, I'm Dr. Stacy Grossfeld and I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Louisville, Kentucky. This morning I'm going to talk about the ACL injury. What is an ACL? And that stands for your anterior cruciate ligament. It's the major ligament in your knee joint that provides stability. It's the one that is most commonly torn by female soccer players or male football players. Well, how do you know if you've torn your ACL? What are the signs and symptoms? Well, at the time of the injury, if you feel or hear a pop, and you'll feel or hear it, it doesn't matter how loud the stadium is or where you're playing, if there's swelling that occurs within 12 hours of the injury, and you just can't finish the game, if you have to be carried off or you limp off the field, if you have those three symptoms, there's an 85% chance you've torn your ACL. If you haven't torn your ACL with those three symptoms, You've most likely either dislocated your patella and it's popped up back into place. You have a bucket handle tear of your meniscus or you have sustained a fracture. But typically with these three signs, pop, swelling, can't finish the game, you've torn your ACL. So what do you do next? Well, immediately ice on your knee. Ice is your best friend at that point because that'll help control the swelling. And the reason why it swells is the ACL is very vascular. It's full of all kinds of blood vessels. So when it tears, it bleeds, which is why the knee swells up. The ice will help reduce the swelling. Number two is compression. Get an ACE wrap, wrap the knee. That will help to also reduce the amount of swelling. And number three is get it up and elevated. And that in turn will reduce the swelling, which will help reduce the pain. And a dose of an anti-inflammatory medication if there's no medical indications not to take it in said, such as an 800 milligram dose of ibuprofen or a 500 milligram dose of Aleve. So who needs surgery? Well, the, not everybody that tears their ACL needs surgery. Surgery is reserved for the patient or athlete that wants to get back to twisting, turning, jumping activities. So if you're a cyclist, you don't really use your ACL. If you're a tennis player, you use your ACL. So it kind of depends on what you do, and it may also depend on your profession. If you have a labor type job, such as working at UPS, you need your ACL. So it really, each person we look at individually as to who needs surgery and who does not need surgery.